All right, so this will be the uh, first uh, lesson, uh, just basic 2D geometry creation using Mastercam 2020. All right, first thing you'll probably notice is uh, once you open your uh, version of Mastercam, the Home Learning Edition, it's going to default to a gray background, a uh, little different color combination than I have. I use this uh, as what I'm used to, and uh, it does project better on the overheads. Uh, the file we're going to look at, or the drawing, is this one. We're going to draw just 2D, no toolpaths, no 3D geometry creation, just 2D to get used to the different wireframe uh, tools you can use to create this geometry. The way the software works is you essentially draw what you want, and then it creates the code for you after you assign toolpaths. Uh, it works a little bit the opposite way in hand programming, uh, especially with Discriminator, where you get the graph last. Now, essentially, you create the graph to get the code. Okay, so we'll go back to uh, Mastercam. And right now we're looking at the top uh, view. If we right click, it gives you a lot of options. We are gonna make sure we're on the top view looking down. There's zero, zero right in the middle. Okay, make sure you go to wireframe. And if we look at our part file, we wanna create this outside rectangle first, three by three square. So we are gonna go to rectangle and I already have three by three in there. Make sure anchor to center is on. This does not need to be there. You can actually highlight over, click. Now that's not close to right. It's not uh, green yet, or it's, we did not hit apply or green check. So right now we can change this using these dimensions uh, options. So we will type in three point and three point. Okay, and that is our square. We will then hit green check. So now this is really starting to look like zero, zero in the middle, three by three box. Okay. Now uh, to create the quarter inch holes, I'm gonna do a few different methods here just to show you some of the options. It's not necessarily the, the way I would, I wouldn't use all these tools typically. I'm gonna try to uh, show you a few different methods you can use to create the different, uh, create the circles. We are not, we're gonna draw, essentially we're gonna draw these circles square and then rotate the entire pattern 45 degrees. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a circle and the circle we're going to put right around here, which is going to be um, minus 0.3 in the X and minus 0.3 in the Y to get yourself into a graphing situation or a coordinate type input. Hit the space bar and you'll notice this blank box comes up. We will type in minus 0.3 comma minus 0.3 comma zero for x y and z lo center location of this hole we can then hit enter and now we have a circle location that is set now we just need to give it a diameter of quarter of an inch enter now that hole has is ready to roll now the key here is that although we can move this and modify it you really want to make sure the geometry is in the right spot the first time and it'll just work out smoother for you. Uh, I don't even show how to modify, um, you know, modify a single entity um, without using transform till later on. So right now we want to create the other four holes. To do that, we're going to go to transform. And we are going to go to translate. And when we hit translate, it prompts us to pick what we want to translate. So we are going to pick that circle and hit end selection. Now over here in the translate uh, tab, we have a lot of options here. We want to copy the entity. We don't want to move it. We want to make copies of it. We're just going to make one instance for now. Okay. And we're going to translate it over in the X minus, or actually we don't need, don't, you don't need a minus here. I want to show you something else. We will go 0.6. Now notice it went to the right. We went to a negative, but it went to the left. But I want to show you down the bottom here. You can go to opposite side. You can go both sides. Okay, so you can change it using these tabs down here. All right, just another option. The other option here is you could vector from two, which I'll show you at a later time. That's actually clicking where you want to go. And you could do length and angle type input polar coordinates. So right now, that's okay for now. We're going to hit apply, not green check. When we hit apply, now we're ready, essentially starting over again, but we still have translate open. So what that means is that we can window, hold the left mouse down and window those two circles, hit end selection, and we can get rid of the X value 
and give it a y value of 0.6. Okay. So that looks like the four holes that would be in this quadrant. There they are. We can now hit green check. Now you'll see that they are not the geometry colors, they're not green. If you right click, hit clear colors, resets all entities to their default colors. Now they're green. All right. Now I want to show you another unique uh, and real powerful tool that a lot of CAD users end up using, and this is one of the reasons I do it this way, is we could we could do this multiple ways, but this way is sort of easy. Use the mirror function. It's going to prompt us the same way. Select all four holes and selection. And we're going to mirror copy about the x-axis, which is right here. Notice it previews well. That's what we want. We will now hit apply. Then I'll select all of these, hit end selection, and I will mirror about the y-axis. Good. Green check. Right click, clear colors. Now that's pretty much right, except for we got to rotate the entire pattern 45 degrees. To do that, we hit rotate. Select the entire pattern, not the square, just the pattern of holes and selection. We want to move the pattern. We want to kick it 45 degrees. Okay. That's ready to roll. The previews well. Green check. Right click. Clear colors. Okay. That is our geometry. We uh, are now ready to create tool paths uh, for the next lesson. But for right now, uh, this is the lecture for this topic. All right. If I go isometric, you'd see it is flat. But that's all we need for now because the depths of our tool will take care of the rest of it. Top and right click fit. Just some different option uh, tools you could use. So that's it for now. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.